And welcome back to the Ritter. Gene Battaglia along with John DeTulio. The Tigers leading 1-0, but Johnny, very exciting announcement here. Coming in just a few minutes, Dr. Dessler with an announcement towards the new ice arena here on campus. Let's go down to ice level to Dr. Dessler. From alumnus Stephen Schultz, who is in the house. I believe he's over the president's box. <laughs> it was followed by a second one million dollar gift from alumnus J.M. Lane and company Translux. And over the course of the last year, we have raised almost another one million dollars for the support of hundreds of individual gifts, including special gifts from individuals like our trustee, Bruce Bays. Today, we step on a notch. I am so pleased to announce that with the support of the Hussey Family Foundation and longtime RIT supporter, Tom Galassano, We will be the recipients of a four and a half million dollar gift to help build our new arena. With me is Wanda Palacini, and Gary Palacini, her son, and his family is up in the president's box. Tom Galassano, unfortunately, could not be here tonight. But when Tom was growing up, his best friend was Wanda's late husband, Gene Palacini. Gene was an icon in hockey circles in the Rochester area. He headed many efforts to build youth hockey and college hockey and I think he was probably responsible for Tom Galassano buying the Sabres. So I am so pleased to tell you that our new arena, thanks to this four and a half million dollar gift from the Palacini Family Foundation and Tom Galassano, will be named the Gene Palacini Center. see it, Johnny. The arena has a name, the Gene Palacini Center. Mr. Palacini, a close friend to Tom Galassano. Tom Galassano behind this as well. It's great to have Rochester community members helping out. But it's a great, great connection. I like the sound of that, the Gene Palacini Center. And as you mentioned, leaders in this community helping out here at RIT. It's just a perfect, perfect fit. We'll have more coming up next. We'll step aside shortly. Tigers lead here after one, one nothing. There you see the thank you. It's Mr. Palacini, Mr. Galassano. Thank you so much. And welcome back to the Frank Ritter Arena where the RIT Tigers playing some good hockey tonight. They lead Air Force two nothing after two. Of course tonight, the big announcement, the new arena here at RIT now has a name, the Gene Palacini Center. The gift from the Palacini Family Foundation and Tom Galassano. And to talk about this is the president of the Rochester Institute of Technology joining us, Bill Dessler. Great to have you with us once again. Gene Palacini, it's so fitting because he was a huge fan of hockey. A huge fan of hockey and a very important person in the Rochester area. Hockey helped to found some of the youth leagues here. Encouraged Tom Galassano to buy the Sabres. He was a real all-around hockey fan. It's a wonderful story of a lifelong friendship until Gene passed away a few years ago. And to have him honored this way by the Palacini family, as well as this selfless gift from Tom Galassano himself to honor his old friend. Tom told me nobody else's name should go on this new arena than Gene Palacini. And what a wonderful night for this university for RIT. Special night for it. Doesn't get any better than this, does it? You know, we have a uh, packed house, teams playing well, 
tremendous announcement with enormous implications for the future of RIT hockey, I think. And, uh, you know, I think from the standpoint of a president, you know, it's a happy day. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the Tigers on the ice doing the job tonight. It's also fitting, too, because it's almost a year to the day when the campaign was announced. So with this big announcement tonight, I would imagine we're, you know, right where we should be. Is that correct? That's exactly right. I mean, if I had my dreams come true, we'd uh, would get, we're about at 8 million or thereabouts right now. I think we'd get to 10 million sometime in the spring, get the uh, architect's drawings going and uh, raise a couple million more and we'll start construction in the fall. Can you just uh, uh, tell me what you're feeling? I mean, two years ago, this team's in the frozen four, and now, almost two years removed, we've got, everything's in motion now for a new arena. It's just I, how things have changed in just the last, you know, less than two years. Well, I think what Wayne Wilson has said it best, but we have a chance to turn the RIT hockey program into the same thing that the uh, Syracuse basketball program means to Syracuse. It's the only Division One program in town Hopefully, we'll soon have a women's team to go along with it in Division One, And I think that uh, there's a tremendous opportunity for the community to rally around this team, and we've seen that all along. The problem we have is that uh, the people from the community who want to come out and see the games can't get in because they're all sold out. There's only one solution to that. Let's build a bigger house. <laughs> and not only uh, Dr. Dessler is our guest, but for folks who don't know, this new arena, it, it's going to be for the Rochester community at large. It's going to have more uses other than just for the men's hockey team. That's correct. We'll be able to host uh, youth hockey tournaments there. We'll be able to host concerts there if we want. Ritter will actually be increasingly available for the community for both youth hockey and for uh, figure skating. So I think it's a, it's a win-win all around. Of course, uh, having a bigger arena will allow us to bring even better teams into Rochester to compete against. And uh, we're looking forward to that competition as well. And then, realistically, Doctor, I mean, what's the best case scenario, I think, for the new arena? 2013, 14 season? If, if you're an scenario? optimist, yeah, you could say That's sometime the... in the 13, 14 season, you know, we could be playing in that arena. I like it. I like the sound of that. So okay. do I. <laughs> Before we let you go, Doctor, uh, a quick thought on this Tiger hockey team. It's been like you've had all these missing pieces between Shane and injuries to Saraceno and others. It just seems like once the pieces come together, this might be a special season. It, it could very well be. It's a very good team. People sort of forget that. We have a lot of players coming back who are very good. We have a, we, we all don't expect a good season, uh, but on the other hand, you know, this is a typical Wayne Wilson year. You're putting the pieces together, finding out what works. We've got some new people to blend in, had a few injuries early, but now you begin to see what this team can become. This game isn't finished yet, and I hope we don't assume it is as a team, but I think we played as well as we have all season in those first two periods. Would you like to do the game? Would you like to broadcast? No, no, it's no. better no. analysis than me. <laughs> I have no idea who makes the shots. So, you know, I'm counting on you guys to tell me. You're making me look bad here, Doctor. You're doing a great it's job. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And you guys do a terrific job. We thank you very much. Well, this is a great night uh, for fans of RIT, for fans of uh, hockey in general. Dr. Dessler, thank you uh, tonight and for the announcement. You bet, and we're all happy tonight. Congratulations. All right, team president Bill Dessler here at the second intermission. The Tigers lead two to nothing. We'll come back with highlights and stats next as you look at the Gene Policy Center drawing. This is RIT Sports Online. Hello and welcome to RIT Sports Zone. I'm John Dettulio. Last November, alumnus Steve Schultz donated $1 million to RIT, officially kicking off the school's power play campaign to help fund the construction of a new arena here on campus for hockey. Now, one year later, RIT's power play has scored its most significant donation yet. Shelby Hill has the latest. Construction on the future home of RIT Hockey hasn't even begun, but the new facility already has a name. Thanks to a $4.5 million partnership with the Policini Foundation and Tom Galassano, the hockey program will soon call the Gene Policini Center their new home. This is an amazing story, and we just couldn't have a better name for this arena. You know, uh, Gene Policini and Tom Galassano were childhood friends. When uh, Tom Galassano decided that he was going to try to start a company, which eventually became Paychecks, Together they built the company into what it is today. It's a tremendous story of personal friendship, hard work, perseverance, 
And I think uh, RIT, of course, is the beneficiary of that extraordinary relationship. And what a better way to honor Gene Polisini's memory than to have his name on this magnificent new facility. Now, what does this donation say to the Polisini's and Tom Galsano's commitment to the community? Well, I think, um, and maybe not as publicized all the time, the, the money that uh, they certainly uh, uh, help out many, many causes uh, throughout our community. Uh, community. Uh, the community is very important to them. These are people that, uh, uh, you know, Rochester is very special to them and, and really help uh, Rochester thrive. Uh, we, we really, really appreciate uh, everything that they've done. How gratifying is it to you in the campaign? You know, it couldn't be better. Uh, it's a, the, exactly the big gift we needed to get this campaign going. We're, I think, over halfway there now. I think that this will build excitement towards the campaign, and hopefully if we raise a couple million dollars more this spring, we'll get an architect, and maybe if we get a couple million after that, we'll start construction in the fall. So how much have you raised so far? About a little over $8 million, and uh, we're very encouraged by what we hear from the community. We have some other large asks out. There's no question we're going to build this thing. The only real question is when. Now, do you think you're going to start building, you know, before you get the $15 million, or...? wait until then. Well, now that we have a name for the center, it makes it, it makes it easier for us to start work, looking forward to getting an architect and thinking about the placement and making some more firm, firm plans to make this happen. And so it's exciting. What does this do to the momentum of the campaign? Oh, it, it, uh, it's a big surge, let's put it that way. You know, you, when you get the, the, a $4.5 million gift, it sends a message out to folks that uh, we're serious. We got some people behind us who are serious about it. And, uh, and, I, and I think it's going to develop kind of a snowball, a little domino effect. We'll get more gifts, bigger gifts hopefully, and we'll get to that uh, $15 million, million dollar point sooner than we think. Have you, are you talking to some other major companies and is there you know, a major donation in the works? Or? We have several things in the works. They're not nearly as big as this, but we have quite a few things in the works and you know they all add up. And uh, you know, we're gonna get there and, and I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled not only with this wonderful day and this wonderful announcement, but the team's playing well tonight, so what's not to like? Is it kind of hitting you that a new rink is really going to come to campus? Yeah, it is. I mean, we've been talking about it for a while and uh, very hopeful, and we've had some very generous gifts already. And uh, the thing that uh, I guess I appreciate more than anything else, or I think is special about this, it's coming from people with sincere interest in hockey. And I think it makes it that much more meaningful. The, the name Gene Palacini will live on for a long, long time and will be a very special building in our community. When you see the president standing out there saying that this thing is going to become a reality, and I, I, I kind of watched, I looked up in the stands and I, you know, I just saw the excitement in their eyes and their, and their voices. You know, it's, uh, what we have here is a pretty darn special thing. Now we have the Gene Palacini Center. We'll have people who knew about Gene, his work, his contributions to the community. Uh, I, I, I don't know how this can't succeed now. To date, RIT has raised over half of the campaign's $15 million goal. Now, for more information on how you can join the effort to help build the Gene Policini Center, visit rit.edu slash powerplay.